boys and girls. Thanks for joining me for the last part of phonics for the week. We are working through our packet and we are currently on page 91. There is a nine in the tens place and a one in the ones place. It looks like this. I would like you to take a pencil and I want you to underline, draw a line underneath every capital J that you can find. Please do that now. All right, how many J's did we find? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six J's. I would like you to write the numeral six over on the side. The number word six, S-I-X, and six tally marks. One, two, three, four, cross with five, six. Please do that now. Now what I'd like you to do is lift up worksheet number 91. We are going to turn it to the back side. It is also 91 and it looks like this with a 9 in the tens place and a 1 in the ones place. On this page, we are going to code and match our words to the pictures. Let's review our rule before we start coding. Say it with me, boys and girls. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with the breathe. So we are going to find all of the vowels in our words and code them properly. Each word has one vowel. I'm going to go ahead and show you what each of these pictures are. This is a ram, this is a yak, this is a jet, a jug, a dog, and a jar. Please go ahead and code the vowels in each word, then neatly draw a straight line from the word to the picture. You may do that now. All right, if you need more time, hit pause. Otherwise, we are going to flip our packet like a pancake so that we are seeing worksheet 92. There is a nine in the tens place and a two in the ones place. We have 22 lines today because we have learned 22 letters of our alphabet. Hmm, if we've learned 22 and there are 26 letters, how many more letters do we need to learn? Four more, good job. That's some quick math right there. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna start with number one up here at the top. I would like you to put your pointer finger on number one. What I am going to do is read a word that has a consonant blend at the beginning. A consonant blend is when two consonants slide together that their two sounds almost begin to sound like one. For example, please. The consonant blend at the beginning of please is P L. Pull. Your job will be to listen to my word and write the consonant blend, the two consonants you hear at the beginning on the lines. We're gonna start that way. Are you ready? Remember, lowercase letters only and handwriting matters. Here we go. Number one, boys and girls. Trip, trip. Please write the consonant blend you hear at the beginning of trip on the line next to number one. Number two. Glass, glass. Please write the consonant blend you hear at the beginning of glass on the line next to number two. Number three, prize, prize. Please write the consonant blend you hear at the beginning of prize on the line next to number three. Number four, slip, slip. 
please write the consonant blend you hear at the beginning of slip on the line next to number four. Number five, start, start. Please write the consonant blend you hear at the beginning of start on the line next to number five. Number six, drip, drip. Please write the consonant blend you hear at the beginning of drip on the line next to number six. Number seven, flower, flower. Please write the consonant blend you hear at the beginning of flower on the line next to number seven. Number eight, small, small. Please write the consonant blend you hear at the beginning of small on the line next to number eight. Okay, we're back up to the top now again. We are on number nine. Now, I am going to give you a spelling test. We are going to have a spelling test for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So get ready, spelling words, here we go. Please use lowercase letter and handwriting matters. Number nine, the word I'd like you to write is drip. Drip. Sometimes water will drip out of the sink. Drip. Number 10, trap. Trap. Have you ever built a trap for something? Trap. Number 11, must. Must. You must use your best kindergarten handwriting when doing phonics. Must. Number 12, flop. Flop. I have seen a cute dog run while his ears flop up and down. Flop. Number 13, nest. Nest. There is a big nest in a tree in my neighborhood. Nest. Number 14, drum, drum. I am not very good at playing a drum, drum. Number 15, blast, blast. Have you ever seen a spaceship blast off? Blast. And number 16, rest. Rest. I hope you're getting plenty of rest at night. Rest. Okay, we're on our last column. We are going to do something a little different on this last column. First numbers 17 through 22. I am going to read a word to you. I want you to listen for the vowel in my word and write that vowel on the line. So, for example, if I said dog, do you hear the aw sound in the word dog? Dog, aw is letter O. O is the vowel in that word. So on your line, you would write lowercase o. Ready to get started? 
Here we go. Number 17. Please write the vowel you hear in mask. Please write the vowel you hear in mask. Number 18. Dress. Please write the vowel you hear in dress. Number 19, fill. Please write the vowel you hear in fill. Number 20, lost. Please write the vowel you hear in lost. Number 21, must. Please write the vowel you hear in must. And finally, number 22, fell. Please write the vowel you hear in the word fell. Excellent job, boys and girls. All 22 lines filled up. Last page. Let's lift up worksheet number 92. Turn it to the back side. It looks like this. There is a 9 in the tens place and a 2 in the ones place. You know what to do here, so let's talk about it. We are going to code the words. Ooh, look at number 3. Do you see a twin consonant there? What do we do when we see a twin consonant? We mark out the second one, so we only sound it out one time. Let's review our short vowel rule. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with the brief. I would like you to code each of these words. Then please draw a straight line from the word to the picture. We have a jug, a jet, a dress, jam, bag, gift. When you have finished with that, you may circle all of the J's you see in the box below. All of the J's. Code, match, circle. You may do that now. All right, if you need more time, hit pause. Otherwise, we are going to flip our packet like a pancake so that we can see these words on worksheet 16 at the end of our packet. What I would like you to do when you have time, you don't have to do it now, I want you to code all of the vowels in these words and I want you to read these words out loud to a parent, a brother or sister, a stuffed animal or a toy. Can you do that for me? Awesome. Boys and girls, I'm so proud of you. We've gotten through our first week of video phonics. Who knew? I'm going to give you an air high five. Excellent job. I look forward to another week of phonics after this one. But for now, thanks so much. Well, job well done, and I'll see you later.